Yeah, Kevin Na will be in that first Live Golf Series event next week just outside of London. And, of course, the PGA Tour has been pretty firm in its messaging that there will be disciplinary action. You can't play one tour and the other tour. You've got to pick one, the PGA Tour or the Live Golf Series. You cannot play both. Well, Kevin Na has decided to basically not be gray anymore. It's black and white to him. He said via social media, I am sad to share that I have chosen to resign from the PGA Tour. This has not been an easy decision and not one I take lightly. I hope the current policies change and I'll be able to play on the PGA PGA Tour. Kevin went also, this is just part of his statement, by the way, also went on to say in this announcement that he wants to be a free agent and he is expecting to get some disciplinary uh, action from the PGA Tour and possible legal action. So he's just eliminating that possibility for the PGA Tour by resigning from the PGA Tour. Now, what does that do for Kevin Na? Well, the PGA Tour has one of the best pension programs in all of industry, not all of sports, but in all of industry. Well, Kevin Na's pension plan will continue to grow naturally, but the PGA Tour will no longer continue to invest in his pension program. And that's pretty significant, too, because if you look at what he has done in his career, he's 27th in the career money list, making close to $38 million. And now at the age of 38, he can draw from that pension that he's already accumulated. He's going to get some money from this Live Golf Series, and now as he creeps into his 40s, he may have uh, set himself up for early retirement in his early 40s to spend more time with his family. Cara? Oh, fascinating, Todd. Thank you for covering that one for us. And as you saw on the screen, Kevin Nahr is a five-time winner on the PGA Tour. Let's now bring in Brandel Chambly for some reaction to this one. Brandel, we learned about this just a, just a few moments ago. What, what, what is your impression on his decision? I, well, I think there's a couple of aspects uh, that, that probably going on right here. One, um, you know, you think about how mentally focused you have to be to play this game at the highest level and any sort of chaos. And you can see this in the games that have fallen off against the players that you know obviously have been recruited by the Saudis this year. They have not played particularly well as they're dealing with uh, these divergent issues. Uh, and imagine just the further frustration, chaos, and, and distraction of being involved in a lawsuit. It seems inevitable that the players that both want to play live and both want to play the PGA Tour are going to end up in a lawsuit. Now, the Saudis, of course, it's, it's understood, I think, that they're going to pay uh, all the legal fees because they're so desperate for the sports watching venture to get off of the ground. But they're going to pay all the legal fees for the players that are going to be in these lawsuits. But that will not, I think, uh, alleviate all of the distraction that these players will no doubt have uh, being involved in a lawsuit against the tour. So that's put at bay by resigning from the PGA Tour. But I think there's something more strategic at play. There's a sense that uh, the, the USGA might or Augusta National might or the RNA might deny their entry into major championships, their respective major championships, because they're under the provision that they're not in good standing with the PGA Tour. By resigning, that no longer I think comes into play. I think we're going to see this more and more from the players that want to play live golf. They simply resign from the PGA Tour. They no longer are not in good standing. They're just no longer a member of the PGA Tour. So there's no provision such that I could imagine that would keep them from playing in these major championships and then let it play out in the courts and see wherever the chips may fall there. So I think one has to do with the mental aspects of playing this game and the other is the, str the strategic aspect of being able to play both live golf and the major championships. So if you are going to make the decision Decision to go play, which is one thing. You actually think this is probably quite a good move by Kevin Nahr personally uh, look, to avoid what is to come. Look, I mean, there's no doubt. I, I think the dilemma, you've, you've looked at the players whose games have fallen off. Look at how bad Dustin Johnson was playing uh, and Lee Westwood and Ian Poulter. And, and you just go down the list and the people that were considering this, they haven't played well. Uh, inevitably, they would have faced lawsuits or they were know they're going to face these lawsuits it's a huge distraction so i think it it's look it's it's a good move if, if this is where you're going to go so more players you think might follow suit we'll have I, to see i do indeed